Hi everyone, welcome to Mindful Crafts and More, I'm Katrine. If this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome. Take a look at this video or any of my other videos. If you find yourself inspired, join my channel. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. I really appreciate you just hanging out with me for a bit. So, hi everyone. This is day two of my little mini series on National Craft Month. And as I promised, I will show you guys some of the things that I presented last month and let you see how I did them since they were new crafts that I explored. So for today, what I'm going to do is show you how I made this beautiful wall hanging. And here it is right here. So this one is a Kenta cloth inspired wall hanging that I purchased. And as you see, it has a hanger here so you can hang it up. And it really wasn't that hard to do. Um, you do have to focus a bit um, as it is kind of weaving. It is a sort of weaving of paper, all right? So yes, so it comes in a kit like this. I don't know if they still have them available, but I did manage to grab a few. So I'd like to show you how I did it in a work on a whip with me style video today, if that's okay with you guys. So before I get into it, I did make uh, a snack for myself today. And I really just have some tea that I'm sipping on. So today's tea is a lovely hibiscus tea, which is really flavorful and heart healthy. So I'm gonna sip on it for a bit. Yes, very flavorful and refreshing, all right? So give it a try, hibiscus, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this kit, see what's in it, and do a quick work on a whip with me, all right? So let me change my camera. Okay, guys, so I am back, and here you have the wall hanging, and you can see it full here. And it turned out really, really good. Let's take a look at the kit. The kit comes in a box like this. It is 45 pieces completely. And it actually has enough for you to make two wall hangings, which I didn't realize until I opened it up. So let's take a look at the contents. Okay, so it comes complete with a board that holds everything secure, the instructions here, and then they give you this packet here. All right, so in the packet, we have multicolored strips of paper. We have a yarn needle. We have yarn and we have glue as well as our mat, okay? So let me move some of these things out the way and let's get started.
So I am back and I really enjoy doing this project. And I hope that you guys enjoy seeing the little clips of me working on it. So this was really fun um, to review the items. Um, the kit is very good, I think. It has very sturdy products, quality products. The paper that they call paper is to me more like cardstock, very thick. Um, and it's not flimsy at all. The um, yarn is very good. The glue stick also very good. Um, what I will say is with the glue stick, you will find that initially it's kind of moist on the um, paper, but then once it dries, then the paper does adhere to itself, to the other papers. So you have to kind of position your um, papers properly when you first put them down and it doesn't really take a long time to dry. Um, it doesn't bleed through, so you don't see um, a moisture stain or anything on it because it's nice and thick cardstock, as well as this not being too um, wet or too liquidy, okay? So I think it works up great. Would you like to see it? All right, so here it is. All right, so this is the one that I worked on today. I really do love the way it came out. I think it is awesome, all right? Now, I, if you notice here, this one has a golden colored yarn, and that is because I used the yarn doubled as I wove it through the paper on the first one here. And so in doing that, I used up pretty much all of my yarn. And that's okay because I like the bold color that it gives to the yarn as it's doubled. All right. But that being said, uh, with the kit, if you have the kit and you decide to make this, um, you should use single unless you want to use your own yarn because you won't have enough the way the kit is made. OK, now the instructions, the instructions for this kit are all in pictures. So really, there are no words there. So it's all pictures and you have to kind of just intuitively kind of think and know okay, I think I should use the glue here or no, I don't need to use it here. Okay, and doing that to try to keep everything in place. But other than that, it is just wonderful. And uh, I, I really had a good time. All right, so now the surprise is this. I'm gonna go do a giveaway. I don't know if you remember, but when I showed you guys this in the video last month, I told you that I bought several of them. So I actually have two. I have two that I would like to give away and I would like to give one to a content creator and one to a subscriber. So I hope that's okay with you guys. I won't be able to do more because these are not available anymore. So I can't purchase more, but I would like to do um, two. Okay. So if you would like to participate to get one of these kits, then please, by all means, use the word print. If you use the word print, then I will know that you would like to be in the running for getting one of these. And I will go ahead and do the drawing once I am done with the series, okay? That way it'll be easy for me to just do all of the drawings at one time, okay? All right, so that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this paper weaving work along with me. And I hope that you're having a wonderful week. So for each and every one of you guys, Please do everything you can to be mindful. Do everything you can to be at your best health. And by all means, guys, be crafty every day. Have a wonderful craft month. Bye-bye.